Hi there, this is Annie and today we are going to Bangkok in search of the ultimate global street food. The dish is called Pad Thai. It's one of my all-time favorites. Let's have a look at the ingredients. 8 ounces of cooked noodles, 1 cup of tofu, 4 cloves of garlic minced, 1 onion finely chopped, 1 cup of spinach, 1 cup of cabbage, 2 cups of green sprouts optional, 2 spring onions, 1 third cup of fresh cilantro, 1 fourth cup of ground chopped peanuts, 1 tablespoon of tamarind paste, 1 fourth cup of warm water, 3 and a half teaspoons of soy sauce, 1 teaspoon of chili sauce, 1 teaspoon of red chili powder optional, 3 tablespoons of brown sugar, juice of 2 lemon and some oil for frying. I'm going to start with some oil. If you have some peanut oil, go ahead and use that. Spread it around a little bit. Don't want too much oil, this is not an oily dish at all. Now I want to talk to you about tofu. The sopra and tofu that you get, sometimes they're really extra extra firm. So what you do is, you get the extra extra firm tofu and you slice them into wedges like this and then roast them or toast them with a little bit of oil and then you land up with tofu that looks like this. Okay, the pan is hot, now I'm going to start with some garlic. Pata is my all-time favorite and there's a few ways of making it. I have found this to be a simple way to make pata. Now I'm going to add the onions. And some spring onions. To this, I'm going to have a little bit of cabbage in. Some spinach and some sprouts. I'm using mixed sprouts today. This is not a typical Thai thing to do, but that's what we found in the supermarket. But you can use any sprout of your choice. Some red chili flakes. I'm also having some mung sprouts, so I'm just gonna throw that in. What matters is the Thai sauce. We want to be true to the sauce because it's a peanut sauce. And vegetables, you can use whatever you like. You can even add broccoli, you can add cauliflower, you can add whatever vegetables you want. I'm going to let my vegetables cook for about 3-4 minutes while I prepare the rest of the ingredients. I'm just going to take some peanuts, wrap it up like a gift and I'm going to bang on this. Now in a bowl, I'm going to start by adding my peanuts and I'm going to add some brown sugar, soy sauce. Tamarind and peanuts will incorporate such a fabulous flavor. The recipe says one teaspoon, but if you feel like you might enjoy a little bit more tangy flavor, just go ahead and add a little bit more. Mix this up nicely. Some lime juice. And just a little bit of water. If you want to make it even more special, you can add a big spoon of peanut butter in this. Just makes it more creamy. I'm going to check on my vegetables now. Any shape you like. Also depending on how your tofu is. And I'm going to add the noodles. I couldn't find rice noodles so I'm just going to use spaghetti. It tastes just as good. That's the fun part. You have to mix different things. Now who would have thought of using Italian spaghetti in a Thai dish? I tried it and actually turned out to be super. And to this, we're going to add the sauce. I've already seasoned this. Just pour it in and give it a good stir and your pad thai will be ready. All the goodness of tofu, sprouts, peanuts, tamarind, vegetables. Doesn't get better than this. And I'm going to garnish it with some cilantro. And you can go ahead and use a little bit more of crushed peanuts on top because it tastes delicious. And here you have a delicious, quick street food from Thailand, Pad Thai.